some way you can. Today I will be showing you an awesome way to figure out the sums of the sequence that is very long. Now you don't want to spend a very long time with this, so I'm going to show you the short one. <laughs> So then, that's equals to, we don't know yet. Now, you're not good. You're not going to spend the whole time adding each number step by step. The easy way is by doing two formulas. The first formula is to figure out how many numbers there are. Now, even though we are not figuring out how many numbers are there, we are going to use this answer to figure out the sums of this sequence. So, our formula would be numbers of the number equals to our last number, or if you want to see it bigger, our last number minus our first number divided by the difference between each number, the difference, and after it is always going to be plus 1. So let's apply this to our sequence now. The numbers of the number is going to be the last, remember, the last number is 29 minus the first number is 1 divided by the difference. Now in each number we can see that the difference is 2. So it's 29 minus 1 divided by 2 and it's always plus one. Now, the numbers of the number is 29 minus 1 is 28 divided by 2 plus 1. So then the, so then the numbers of the number, 28 divided by 2 would be 14 plus 1. So then the numbers of the number would be 15. Now, sorry. So, would be 15. Now, we are going to save this information. Remember, the numbers of the number is 15. Okay? And we're going to write it right here. The numbers of the number equals to 15. Now, we're going to figure out the sums of this. Our formula would be the sums equals to the difference, the, sorry, the numbers of the number, whatever it is, divided by always 2 times, in parenthesis, our first number plus our second number, our, sorry, our last number and our first number. We're going to add that. Now, this is our formula to apply in the sequence. Now, it would be the sums equals to the number of the numbers. Remember, the number of the numbers we wrote there was 15. So we're, go we're going to write 15 divided by 2. Sorry. 15 divided by 2 times our first number, which is 29, and our, all right, our last number and our first number, which is 1. We're going to add that. So, we're going to do this. Now, we know that the sum of the, the sum of these is going to be 15 divided by 2 times 29 plus 1 is 30. Now, we're going to divide these two by 2. So then, what the, what we would do is this, sorry, is that the sums would be, remember, 15 times 15. Now, 15 times 15, as we know, 
is equals to 225. So now we know that the sums of all these numbers would be 225. Imagine doing these step by step and then ending up with 225 when almost like 30 minutes has passed. It is sure going to take a lot of time, so this is the easy way. Now, let's see another example. Let's see another example. For example, if I wrote 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus whatever is in the middle plus uh, let's give an example of let's say 20 right then well, what we would do now remember our formula the numbers of the number is equals to the last number minus the first number divided by the difference and all this plus one. So then the so then if we apply this to our formula, it would be the numbers of the number is equals to our last number which is twenty minus our first number which is one divided by the difference. Now the difference as we can see here is one. And you remember it's always plus one. Now, the numbers of the numbers would be 20 minus 1 is 19 plus 1. Then, the numbers of the number would be 20. So, we're figuring out the sums, not the numbers. We're going to use this to figure out the sums once again. So, I'm going to write this information right here. Numbers, the numbers of the numbers is 20. Now, again, our second formula to figure out the sums of the sequence would be sum, sorry, sum equals to the numbers of the numbers divided by always two times our last number plus our first number. That is our sequence. Now, to figure out the sequence, that is our formula, sorry. Now, figure out the sequence, we would do the sum is equal to, remember, the numbers of the number we kept was 20. So, it's 20 divided by 2 times, in the parenthesis, we would do 20, which is our last number, plus 1, which is our first number. And when we, and we would do that. Now, we would do, now we would do sums equals to 20 divided by 2 times 21 over 1. It's easy. So divide 2 and divide 2, yeah. Now we can do, uh, uh, we can both do divided by 2, divided by 2. Now we can do sums is equals to 20 divided by 2 is 10 times 21. Now, the sum of the answer would be 210. So, now we know that the sums of all these numbers up to 20 would be 210. So, now that I've showed you the method, the method and the formula of figuring out the sums of a sequence, now, you know how to do it very fast. And remember, you have to figure out the numbers of the numbers first, and then do the sums. So, now that you've all learned it, I am so happy, because you won't need, like, a lot of time to do it, to do this very long sequence. So, so I'm very happy.